I'm gonna get I'm gonna have kids and I'm gonna get married and hopefully I'll still do cartoons but I'm a, I'm a really relaxed kind of person I like quiet things it's family my dogs my cats my wife really you know I, I'm I'm not really a busy body no. Eddie and Eddie is an iconic cartoon. I hope that's something that can be agreed on. It may not be on the same level as Mickey Mouse, but the Eddie boys are still being praised today. With the live streams, memes, or people referencing them via social media, they are still being remembered. It's kind of surprising that this show lasted 10 years, ending in 2009. With the cancellation of the show came with the retirement of fellow actor Tony Sampson. Samson has made very rare live appearances, most notably when he appeared in the behind the scenes documentary of the show. He has yet to be seen in a public event since this 2001 interview. I don't think I'm like Eddie at all, personally. I mean, I'm hyperactive sometimes and I have a lot of energy. Other than that, I, I think they're just saying the wrong stuff. I'm not... Got any quarters? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Link in the description. So whatever happened to this man? According to his Wikipedia page, he went to go work in the oil sands industry in Fort McMurray. Samson has a good amount of animated roles. Some are one-off characters, some reoccurring. It's safe to say that Eddie was his most iconic role. Again, I ask, why did he quit? I checked over his fandom page and came across this image. Notice how recent it looks compared to previous pictures taken of him. Why would a man who retired from the acting industry get professional headshots taken and if he did, who uploaded them? Then I discovered that this man wasn't Tony Simpson, but instead Tony Mana. Coincidentally, almost nothing is known of Tony Mana. Just my luck, right? <laughs> what happened to Eddie? The only interesting piece of information I can find of Mana is that apparently he is Joe Pesci's first cousin, once removed. Which has nothing to do with this, but I just found it funny that Pesci was also a retired actor on hiatus. Why is Tony Mana's face on Tony Sampson's wiki? I will never know, but it tells me this. None of this can be trusted. It states the fellow co-star Matt Hill and Sam Vincent revealed and confirmed that Samson retired to go manage an oil refinery in Fort McMurray, Alberta, Canada. Just think about it, how strange is it to build up a great name for yourself in voice acting just to switch career path? Just for the sake of conversation, let me play devil's advocate. Let's say he is managing an oil refinery, I doubt he might still be running it. Do you remember the location of the oil refinery? Well, in 2016, there happened to be an outrageous wildfire. Madonna, it is, it is chaos, really. You hear the emergency sirens going, but I need to show you, it, it's not just on the border. This is Fort McMurray burning this afternoon. My neighborhood was uh, practically empty and uh, I could see and hear the flames uh, crackling uh, behind my neighbor's homes. And that's, uh, that clearly told me uh, it's time to go. Uh, that fire seems to be burning across the highway. So people who are trying to go southbound on Highway 63 here to get away from all of this now are likely having to turn around. But Donna, look at that, like that, even in the past five minutes, has just flared up. And uh, to be honest, I'm not sure how long we'll be able to stay here, but it shows how quickly things are changing. How are you feeling? Uh, pretty empty, you know, sad and devastated. <laughs> Shock, still trying to take in the hole situation and what, what happened just never never expected this eh? I mean, 
and we're in downtown. We're not far from a fire station, to be honest, and the hospital. This fire burned over 1 million acres and destroyed approximately over 3,000 homes and buildings, which stopped all oil sands operations in that area. The estimated cost in Canadian currency for the damages was something of $9.9 .9 billion. This fire lasted over a year, from May of 2016 all the way to August of 2017, with two indirect fatalities from this disaster. If Tony Sampson was in Fort McMurray during this, we can just hope he's alright. And hopefully, it's still financially stable. Well, I'll hate to end this on a dark note, but that's all we really know about Tony Sampson. If you think you have any more information about this subject, let me know in the comments. If there's any topics that you think only you find interesting, don't be afraid to suggest it down below. Or do yourself a favor and make a video yourself. You won't regret it, trust me. I've had this topic in my head for a year now, and hopefully I can find the motivation to make this small video essay. And thanks for watching.